Guys, how are you guys all doing? I want to first and foremost, before we even get to today's video, thank you guys so very much for the support on the Arkham Knight videos. You guys have been absolutely tremendously awesome with not only hitting that like button, but also engaging in the comment section below, so I appreciate that a ton. Now, the question for today is going to be very simple, and that is, what is your favorite vehicle in the Batman Arkham Knight video game? We're going to be taking a look at all of that in just one moment, and I do want to address the question that I was asked after we completed the last piece of DLC content, and that is, hey Blitz, are you ever going to go on ahead and uh, complete the um, extra missions, which are, of course, the Arkham episodes and the answer to that is yes it's just a matter of time so with that in mind though let's go on ahead and begin our showcases and we're going to go on ahead and scroll on through over to the vehicle selection screen here and we're going to kick things off with the bat pod used for aerial delivery of supplies this is of course where the bat suit arrives from and as you can see it's a pretty cool design it sort of reminds me a little bit of the uh, mr freeze costume i don't know if i'm the only one that feels that way but i, I just kind of reminds me of that so this is the bat pod uh, that usually is used to bring Batman his costumes and uh, I guess any other gadgets as well that he might need. Speaking of the bat pod and it arriving via aerial deliveries, here is the bat wing, which has been redesigned for the Arkham Knight video game when compared to the Arkham City design that we saw before. It is not completely, completely different. It definitely still maintains some of the elements, but it certainly has been redesigned at least somewhat. And on the underbelly here, you can see the two little hooks there. So those are used to actually hold the Batmobile in place because that's the cool thing is that the Batwing actually can travel with the Batmobile attached to its underbelly. Then we have the Serpent Drone which is uh, one of the militia drones that you have to battle at different points in the game. Usually you take these down with uh, a glide attack and then you basically use the explosive gel to go on ahead and take those down. Here's the militia APC, or I guess one version of it. So here it is, and you can see kind of all the opening canopies. That's sort of cool that you can see into the inside, into the interior of the APC, so you can see kind of how the militia of the Arkham Knight and Scarecrow would be positioned within the thing, because in the game, typically speaking, you don't actually see any of the interior of the vehicle, so that's why it's cool to look at these little uh, character models, or vehicle models, I guess. This is the Arkham Knight copter. You actually battle this thing quite early on in the game at the Ace Chemicals building, so uh, this is one of the earlier, almost mini boss fights, and one of the earliest encounters that you have with the Arkham Knight himself is while he is piloting this double-bladed helicopter. And as you can see, it is armed to the teeth and ready for a fight with Batman and the Batmobile, or maybe we could call it the Bat Tank. Next up, we have the Cloudburst Tank right here, which, uh, again, the Arkham Knight puts up one heck of a fight in this particular giant tank. I think this is the next boss fight that you have against the Arkham Knight is when he's piloting this thing. It is absolutely crazy, crazy armored. You can see it's got like basically no weak spots. That's why it's so difficult to actually defeat this thing. But um, we certainly get the job done in the main story. Then the last vehicle boss fight against Arkham Knight uh, takes place when he uses this giant excavator chasing you through the subway tunnels of Gotham City. And this thing is beyond insane. I mean, the fact that it's got... Look look at all the rotating components on this thing. It's just an absolute ball of death and doom and gloom, basically. It's just insane, insane, insane design. And uh, makes for a very threatening fight, that's for sure, when you have to battle this thing in the Batmobile. So, from there we transition to the Cobra Drone which I think this is the weakest of the uh, Cobra tanks. Oh, no, never mind. I think this is the one that you have to track, uh, and it's only got a weak spot in the back, I believe. So there you go. As you can see, there's lots and lots of militia vehicles in the game. This is the armored vehicle, which usually accompanies the APC uh, during the APC missions, where you have to try to defeat the APCs. These uh, armored vehicles filled with a bunch of the uh, militia from the Arkham Knight and uh, Scarecrow trying to take you down instead. It's kind of like a Humvee, almost. 
Uh, then you have the Rattler drone, which are the basic drones uh, that you battle usually in the disarmament, campaign for disarmament missions, amongst other things as well. But that's one of the main mission sets where you would find these little tanks. Then you have the Diamondback drone, which is the far more armored up version. This one usually takes about three shots to defeat uh, with the Batmobile. But then after a while, once you get some upgrades done, you can actually defeat it with two. So again, pretty ridiculously cool looking vehicle, that's for sure. And then we transition to the Twin Rattler. These are quite possibly the most annoying um, oh no, sorry, it's not this one. It, it's another one, I apologize. Uh, this one is basically an upgraded version of the basic drone. The basic drone has the one rocket that you have to dodge. This one has two, so just a little bit trickier in that sense. But I think it's, yeah, it's this, the Mamba drone. This is the most annoying one probably to deal with because it fires these like homing missiles at you and you have to use the R1 ability, at least on PlayStation, to basically shut them down because they're homing missiles. So it's very, very difficult to dodge. So you're going to take a lot of damage from these uh, Mamba or Mamba, sorry, uh, drones throughout your adventure in the Arkham Knight game. Okay, then we transition onwards and forwards to the Boa Sentry Drone. So these are the smaller little drones that are actually uh, operated by just regular like militia Um enemies so usually you can deactivate them with the remote hacking device as well so uh, that's a pretty good strategy generally speaking when having to deal with these things then we transition to the python drone which uh, interestingly enough they are immobile meaning that they are always stuck but just like the mamba drone they do fire missiles as well and they are also homing missiles so kind of annoying to deal with and they are incredibly incredibly tough i think they take like three or four shots to defeat so surprisingly so they are unbelievably tough uh even though they look like they'd be weaker than some of the other tanks uh, that we see throughout the game this is the dragon drone probably the fastest of the drones that you have to battle uh when you are in the batmobile mode because uh, obviously they fly and second of all they are quite small so they're able to move and zip back and forth across the air very very quickly so they can be quite a bit of a pain, so I would definitely recommend if you are trying to get a lot of those campaign for disarmament, for example, or any of the other missions done, it might be a good idea to try to, in those fights, focus on taking these guys down as fast as possible so they don't do a whole lot of damage to your Batmobile. Then we have the Militia Radar, which I don't know why this is considered to be a vehicle, to be quite honest, because... It really isn't. It's more just an apparatus that they utilize that you have to shut down on a multitude of different occasions. But for whatever reason, they consider it a vehicle in this game. Then you have the relay drone here, which again, you could probably make the argument that maybe it should not be a vehicle, but it, it definitely at least fits the bill a lot more than something like the previous scanner that we just saw a moment ago. So a cool little design. Very, very, very similar to... Where is it? Uh, to this design right here, the Serpent Drone. They're not identical, but they definitely have some overlapping elements with like the uh, helicopter blade sort of look. Okay, so from there, we're going to transition to Hell's Gate's Refuse Truck, which I think, I'm pretty sure that that's the truck that Two-Face uses, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So as you can see, a very, uh, very cool rustic almost antique like uh, garbage truck so there you go cool design though that's for certain then you have the north refrigeration truck which are the vehicles that belong to penguin and you do a lot of chasing missions uh when you try to complete the side quests with penguin you're going to be chasing uh most of the time penguin um uh, thugs in these particular vans here the bloodhaven north refrigeration uh, company van. Then you have the standard GCPD a police car here. Uh, one of these is obviously uh, seen better days, as you can see, but the one on the right kind of gives you a little bit of a better idea of what they're supposed to look like when they're fully functional, not completely destroyed by all the different crazy thugs that have been unleashed upon Gotham City. Then we have the police helicopter, which you do actually see throughout the game. Uh, sometimes I think it appears in a couple of cutscenes, possibly. And then it does also uh, fly around the city for like surveying purposes and things like that. So uh, there you go. Then we have the school bus here. I don't remember where that appeared, if there was a mission or not uh, for that, or maybe that's just a regular uh, 
um, vehicle model, because I can't recall any mission where like one of the villains used this, luckily. Uh, then there's the SWAT van here, which for some reason is not, there we go. It wasn't showing kind of like a close up. There you go. And then last, but certainly not least, is the taxi, which is mostly used by the different thugs in Gotham City as kind of vehicles that they've now taken over and uh, used for their own purposes to travel across Gotham City, dealing with Batman and trying to get away from Batman, who obviously chases them down in the Batmobile. So there you go, guys. Those were 25 vehicles, all 25 vehicles showcased from Batman Arkham Knight. Now, of course, yes, you could make the argument, what about the Batmobile? That's going to be a video in and of itself, so check that out once I put that video up. Thanks all for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.